Hey guys, Ogi Saint here and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I want to talk to you guys about a quick little beginner's guide I put together for new and returning players. Mainly focused on new players as I do have a lot of people coming into the stream asking me stuff like they just seen the video about this, they're returning a lost stock, what should they focus on, what should their goals be, they just returned after like not really playing much at the beginning and all kinds of stuff just really because you get the power pass you get smacked in the lost stock at 1460 item level you come in right now with the algasia power pass and then what do you do from then onwards like a lot of people are confused there's a lot of new people coming it's good to see you all so that is what we're going to cover in this video you guys all just got flashbanged i apologize for that this is my quick little T tldr like a quick little summary of what i reckon you should do to set yourself going in the right direction after you are 1460 item level and level 50 now what then you carry on doing this but then also while i was doing this i linked to lost arc nexus because there's like where i suggest you go look up a good build for your character for chaos dungeons and your daily guardians and all that kind of stuff to make it really easy they have a lot of good info and i actually actually came across this lost arc quick start guide so as you can see there i was on 2.3 in my own personal one and i got there and i was like oh wow okay so they pretty much got one with like all these little pictures and everything in it so shout out to the boys over at Lost Ark Nexus. Now this is going to be featured in my video and I'm going to go through it with you guys as it does a much better job at explaining a lot of the stuff that I was just going to give you guys a basic summary of. I'll have both of these linked down below in the description though for you go check out because they actually don't mention one of the things that I suggest you do is set up your Una's daily tasks so you can actually start getting yourself some gold before you get into raids and before you can actually sell anything because if you are a brand new player you will have literally zero gold coming in. You need at least a little bit of gold so you can actually sell stuff on the market so you can make a little bit of money and then hone yourself up because once you get to 50 and 10 which is very very easily achievable with the current makoko express it will actually start costing you gold to hone not a lot of gold but it does cost you gold and you are starting literally with zero gold as i made this new character on a fresh roster so let's get into it getting started this is really going over the algasia power pass how to go ahead and claim that all if you guys are stuck there and you don't know what to do with the pass, I have another video up on my channel, so go check that out, how to use the uh, current Super Makoko uh, Express event. I'll try and link all of these things down below in the description, so go ahead and check that out. They're showing you about your product inventory to claim all the stuff. Power pass, you grab the power pass. There's just step by step on everything if you weren't quite sure what to do on it. See, there's your Galcia power pass. It is a event power pass and then once you get to that character you and you boost it up now you'll have a max level character then you log into that character you'll have a Vern power pass for free because you get two of those you make a character then you get a Vern power pass for free then you go on to your new character make another one and you get another Vern power pass you end up with three characters two of which will be in tier one which is very low so i wouldn't even suggest touching this for now just focus on your main character for now we'll go through this as i cover that all in my little get quick guide over there like this is all what to do on your main character and then this would be like later on to worry about that pass you go on through you grab your gear selection you open that up and bam you'll be 1460 item level also it doesn't matter which gear selection you go but for the basics uh entropy is positional classes so if you're a front attack or a back attack class you will use entropy most of the time and then there's a lot of crit blade crit base classes that actually want crit then i would use hallucination all these classes that have like high crit rate so they go for a little bit more speed i use salvation then there's classes that use mp uh not the supports but like the dps classes a lot of them will use nightmare set and then supports lastly will use yearning set but you can change this set at any time in game by just pressing p and then right underneath here you should have a little I believe it's after you do your first raid as i can see i don't have it right now after you do your first raid you should have like a little gear change button down here where you can change actually no you don't even have to do that it's probably one of these core guide quests so that's another thing i could add is go do all these guide quests there might be a quest in there that shows you how to like change you can see i haven't even done the honing one there we'll show you how there okay what is gear set conversion there it is right there go ahead do that quest and then you'll have a little menu pop up usually right down up there and you click to change your gear set at to whatever you want as right now i have entropy but i haven't actually gone and done that guide quest so make sure you go through your guide quests and work through those over time as well to unlock like most of what the game has uh go back to character select log back in so there you go and then you'll be thrown in game 1460 with your super makoko express it is the where is it event quest event shop event quest it is this right here so as you can see we've claimed that 1460 we've honed up to the 1490 point which uh, then gives us all of the stuff 
and now we're working towards the next point for 1520 for this but like i said i have an in detailed guide about this up on my channel so go check that out this video is not going to really focus on that i was going to show you how to set everything up so it's going to be a pretty long lengthy video then you set up your engravings i show that all in the previous video too go ahead and set that all up you can claim all of your makoko stuff so if you go to the makoko challenge you can claim all these things because once you've boosted up you'll have a lot of free stuff to claim but instead of going one by one and clicking claim on all of them click up on the top here we click all uh claim all rewards it's going to claim everything i believe in this tab so you might have to tab through and claim all rewards on all the different tabs okay and then now you have an inventory look like this sort out your inventory inventory display so this is what i recommend in a later part of my guide let's go ahead set up your gem fusing auto fuse items like you can just use these because there's no point to have them in your um storage because they just go into your account anyway so all the runes are shared across all your characters all of these things are shared across all your characters except for these honor shards where you open them up on a character is where they will go so if this is uh, bound obviously you can't put it in your roster storage so you'll have to use it on the character that it is bound to and then if you do have any of these materials lying around these are tier one materials either put them in your storage or roster storage you can use them on other characters if you plan on leveling up yourself otherwise if you're just going to use power passes or buy like the i think it's ten dollars to get to punica which will then boost you to level uh tier three which is a good investment if you don't feel like going through tier one yourself but it's very very fast to go to through tier one and two so save those maybe feel like making another character later on and just going through tier one and two yourself It'll be very easy and then you have some materials saved up for it then you get rid of your useless trash destroy those items these are like included with the makoko express they don't really do much you can sell them at the general goods vendor uh, and then this is where you would come now and stash all the items you've got open from all the free gifts and stuff you got in while logging in and the event if you don't actually have the crystalline aura which is basically like lost ark subscription you can buy this in game with gold obviously you are completely brand new starting out right now so you don't have any gold so we're going to assume you do not have the crystalline aura then you have to actually go to these little bank uh see that little chest over there you have to go to those on the map to bank your personal storage so if i was to show you guys like that in game you see there's a little bank item over there but otherwise if you do have crystalline aura you can access it all from your pet so you can access your personal storage from your pet which you can get later on from gold so don't worry you don't have to buy the subscription money if you don't want to and then moving on these are some of the items you want to go look at either using and storing they go over it very much in detail over here and then actually talk about your potions and stuff you can favorite the different potions you can combine and merge them over there so that they don't show all the different ones and then eventually you would click to show your favorites and that's only going to show your favorites which you have selected which you'll learn from playing the game i would suggest to use the blue healing potions not the green ones they're like super cheap i mean a lot of this all of the stuff is pretty much free because you get the boxes given to you but i wouldn't use purple potions learning like starting out lost dark the only time i've really ever needed to use purple potions is once you get to like uh, a khan levels of content which is quite a while in 1580 plus is we'll be looking at using the purple potions i would say just use blue potions for now unless you want to and you, you feel like you need the extra potions because each of them gives some more charges and more healing overall then we have the adventure tome over there that's something you want to go through and get this done slowly but surely but also you do have the arcasia tour which is this i have another full video up on this how to do this complete it's pretty much self-explanatory over here with these missions they'll give these like little missions over there you got to complete on the side you can see that we haven't finished level four yet on this account or this roster you go there finish those all up and you get a load of stuff like this is all what i'm gonna get now for just level four this is actually a lot of good useful items so go ahead and do that to start working on your horizontal and then we'll come down to rapport now this you don't have to worry about now i would suggest leaving this to much later worrying about that later on uh, and you come back to that and there's a lot of other videos and stuff explaining rapport in more in depth i do have some videos on my channel they're a little bit outdated as this has been changed a little bit since it first came out so i'll be working on updating those all going into the future and then we have your roster you can claim all these roster levels because you should have quite a lot of roster levels from doing the arcasia tour i did the first three levels you see down below here is this little menu click roster and then roster information and you can claim all these rewards over there it's actually put me up to roster level 49 already just from doing the first three levels i barely played on this account i think i played about two hours on this roster and that's what we've achieved two to three hours on this roster and that's all we have achieved moving down universal storage that's another thing you want to activate there that's down below by the shop roster character adventure can't actually see it on my screen now because we have the widescreen on but you want to go in there and then claim 
all of the free stuff over there most important you'll be claiming a card set out of there which i do incoming flashbang recommend down i believe in one of those tabs i think number five over there there it is there star of destiny you want to get that out of your universal storage that's a very good starting set but then straight after that with the cards you can get deep dive 18 relatively easy like i said i've barely played on this account i use the events and stuff and i already have deep dive 18 which is superior to the star of destiny but until you get this use the star of destiny card set i can show you guys that is what it looks like over there this is the star of destiny set and then this is the deep dive set but again other videos and stuff going more into details but this is something you want to start looking at you want to make sure that you mark all of these on deep dive so that you can actually see them with the wandering merchants around the world you'll see the wandering merchants there's not there's none actually up right now but it'll be like a little cog wheel like a little wagon wheel it'll pretty much be all around the continents and you can just hover over them and i'll show you what cards they have and if you have marked that card in your thing like this so if you click this little thing there so it marks the card it'll actually show that it's marked so you know hey i'm looking for that card if i see it go there sail there and go pick it up and then moving on so that's some more item storage your universal storage is your mounts i believe alt p is for your mount okay alt v is for your mount so there's everything over there so if you want to read through this i highly suggest reading through this and getting started with all of this stuff we're just skimming through it now to not have like a five hour video getting ready for combat so basically just finishing off all of your guide quests like i suggested before you should have like a lot of them popping up over there you see all these purple quests all around the place these all unlock some important stuff for the game like they unlock raids and towers cubes uh the gear conversion like we talked about before just press j and then we'll bring up your quest journal and there all your guide quests i suggest going through and doing all of these because you're gonna do use all of these um well, activities that the unlocks you want to really go through and do these all one by one get those done it'll explain a lot to you actually read the text and it should pretty much explain everything you probably want to know and as you see that exactly is what they say what is gear set conversion this will unlock gear set conversion as shown in the picture like i showed you guys before there's your character and right underneath gear set conversion should be right there there they touch on cards like i said before that is the best starter set the star of destiny set until you can get a better set and then find the build there is the lost arc nexus guys you can click there and it's got pretty much a build for every single class this looks to be sharpshooter get it get yourself a good build set up yourself a chaos build and then whichever one of the two builds you prefer go ahead and set that up it will also be with the engraving support like the makoko engraving the event quest if you go up there to style settings and you can choose either one of the builds and auto apply it it will apply everything that will reroll the gems for you put in the basic skills and also change the engravings and then you can go double check cross reference this with the lost arc nexus to see if the skills are up to date but for the most part the event quest one does put it on like a basic build so you can get going with that and then you just want to keep in mind your stats and your gems later on once you don't have engraving support because you want to get yourself accessories with stats and gems and everything but i have other videos on my channel explaining how to get like a 5x3 plus 1 pretty cheap right now and what that means is 5x3 see the engravings go up to three levels there's level one two and three so that is three and there's five of them so that therefore you call that a five by three and then later on once you're much higher item level around 1540 you can get ancient accessories you get more of these little nodes and you can actually get a level one engraving so it's five by three plus one but much later down you don't have to worry about that now because you have the engraving support until the 17th of july i believe it's quite a while so you guys have a long time to actually get yourself a little build together and this is just explaining all the skills and stuff this is also a very good thing the skill tree notifications you want to set this up so it shows you your tripods you see there's your tripods in your skill tree itself let me show you guys so if you bring up your skill tree these are your skills i've selected and i have them on action but i can only use eight skills at once depending on your class some classes can use more but for the general thing most classes can only use eight skills and then one including their awakening and their identity but anyway we want to talk about tripods this is tripods of yeah as you level up skills they reach different breakpoints level four is the first breakpoint so you get to choose one of three different tripods which do a different thing to your skill and then at level seven you'll get the second breakpoint as you see there's seven you get to choose two and then at level 10 you get to choose three and then later on at level 60 you can actually level up all the way to 12 but that will just increase the damage and the mana cost of your skills it won't actually give you more tripods as you can see all these tripods of mine are at level one you can actually level these up with little things you find in the game called hope amulets or in chaos dungeons you get armor pieces as well which then you can level this up to level five if the tripods have a level on them that means they can be leveled up to five to maxed out but if they don't have a level like these that means that that is their maximum level 
So these can all go to five and these can't level up any further as that's their maximum level. Choosing the right tripods is very important as well as trying to focus on like your primary damage tripods to level them up to level five. Because getting all your important tripods up to level five gives you basically a whole nother full engravings worth of damage. It's a lot of damage, 15 to 20% damage depending on like all your tripods and stuff. So definitely not something you want to overlook. Now you set these up by settings and then you go settings again. And then you can choose if you had to show only level four and then include fully transferred ones. If you have this selected, it's going to show you ones that you already have. So just leave that off for now. So it's only going to show you ones that you don't have starting at level four. And you go through here and you select, see how those skills are lit up. So those are the tripods I have selected because I followed the guide. And then I click there and it's going to select them. So now I save that. And then whenever a tripod drops, it's going to light it up so I can see it a lot easier. And then I know I can actually go ahead and try and level those up over time. So that is something you want to try and do before you get into your first Chaos Dungeon. And then these are the tripods like I was talking about. The Wish for Amulet of there takes them up to level 5 maximum and the Hope takes them up to level 4. Almost maxed out and then pretty much every single Lost Ark Nexus build guide will show you like a priority tripods of yeah. So these red ones are the ones you want to focus on first. You can see there's three there and there's three there. Usually there's about six very important ones for each class. Some classes have more, some classes have less. But there's usually about six really important ones. You want to try and get those to level five as fast as you can. And then these yellow ones you want to try and get to four or higher as fast as you can. And the, the low priority ones you can just level them up as much as you can when you can. So there they go into in depth and showing you guys exactly what I was saying before. Explaining this all to you guys. Now we come to ruins. Ruins are these as well. Pretty much basically you can only use eight at a time. And you can connect them to your skills. You get them all over the game. I have multiple videos up on my channel showing how to get different ruins and stuff. And with the horizontal power pass, the Arcasia toy just got, you do get a lot of those for free. And if you go to your skills, you can see skills over there. And then ruins are actually on the right. This is the ruin tab. As you can see, we have a load of ruins over there just from doing the Arcasia tour. So again, most of those. Link those up with your Nexus guide to your build and you'll be sorted on that pet stat bonus your pet does give you stat bonus so make sure your class has the correct stat bonus on because your pet will give you either crit stat or well you can get pretty much for all of them but you want to get uh, crit swiftness or spec on your pet you see i have a crit pet i actually need to change that over i believe i'm spec you see so i'm not really gaining anything there if i change that over to spec then i'll get 10 percent more of my current spec so that would be a nice little boost over there so i might need to make sure to go and do that soon on my pet and to do that, you need to come over to a pet person. There used to be one. Okay, there it is right above us. You see this one over here? This pet person there. Click your pet and you choose the buff. The top buff, you always want to just leave that on max HP. The other ones don't really do much for you. So just the bottom one, change to your preferred stat. I'm going to say spec is probably what I want. Change and it's free. There we go. 10% spec. As you can see now, we have 1226 specs. So a nice little bump up from like 11, whatever it was before. So make sure to set your pet up correctly. And now it's time to go hone. Well, obviously you guys have maybe honed a little bit more before, but they just go more in depth of yeah, Honing is the game's system of leveling up your gear like that. Make sure you always level up one at a time because each time you get to like a little different breakpoint. I do explain this in my um, video going over this event, but pretty much each time you get to a different breakpoint over here, you get a bunch of materials, which will then help you to hone. So if I was to focus my weapon there and get like three taps or four taps on my weapon, that's going to eat through my materials really fast, but it's not going to make my average item level go up by much because you want to spread out the hones across all your pieces, make your average item level go up much faster, and then you can pretty much go on to the next level. Basically, rule of thumb is one tap on each piece will push you to the next level. So you'll start at 1460. And if you tap each one of your pieces, all five armor pieces and your weapon one time, you'll be at 1475 overall level, which is the next breakpoint. And then again, one more tap will put you at 1490 on each armor piece, pushing you into the next breakpoint and so forth. These require a little bit more. I think this is going to be another one tap on everything. And this might be like two taps to reach that one. But overall, usually one tap on every piece should push you to the next breakpoint. I do cover that extensively in the Makoko Express guide, so go check that out if you're not sure what to do. That's just explaining you the honing success rate, all the materials. These materials, you should open them and use them. You get them from the events so that they don't be go to waste because you want to open them, use them. That's where you go up one level at a time so you can get the next set of rewards and use them so they don't get wasted. So that is all covering that. And I believe that's about it for now. Okay, there they touch on the Arcasia tour. 
I have a full video up on my channel covering Narcasia 2 if you do get stuck on it. But like I said before, very self-explanatory. Just follow the missions on the left. Then there's also currently the Arc Pass. Let's use, this is like pretty much the, um, what do you call it? The premium battle pass or like a battle, battle pass that you can buy for Lost Ark. You do get the free track. I can actually show you guys in game. So let's go to the Arc Pass on the left there. So if you view all rewards, this is completely free. This track, you get all of those rewards for free. You just have to actually level it up by just basically playing Lost Ark. And then the premium one in the middle, yeah, I could highly suggest this one for newer players. If you do want to spend any money on Lost Ark, this is a lot of value for $15. $15 and you can get this premium track. So you get all of the rewards on the left, as well as all the rewards on the right of you. And this will give you a lot of extra honing materials just to help you out if you do plan on really diving into Lost Ark and honing up a character. And then the super premium reward, I would not suggest because it only gives you cosmetics. That is $30. So it's another $15 on top of the $15 over there. It's not, you get a little bit of holding materials over there, but it's mainly for the cosmetics, which these you can actually get in game with gold as well. Only the mount is a little bit expensive usually, but this you cannot get in game any other means except with real money, which is a wallpaper for your login screen. So I wouldn't suggest the super premium, but I could highly suggest the premium. The value for what you get out of it is really good. So if you do want to spend some money on Lost Ark, that's probably the best way to spend it. And then moving on, what else we got? Mass presets. Okay, this is another complicated thing as well. I do have a video up on my channel about this. But basically, if you press Alt E, you can set up this mass preset, which will then save your cards, your gems. It will save your accessories and your skills and everything. You can select different pets as well. So pretty much when you go into raids and stuff later on. So if, say, for example, this is a Chaos Dungeon. This is part of your dailies. And you get this little drop down menu and you can select which preset you want to use you can actually go ahead and name these because sometimes like some raids will be weak to some different type of damage so you actually want to use a different card set and then you save that all to the mass preset and then it saves you a lot of time from like changing different card sets each time you get into a raid so that is something but that's much later down the line you don't have to worry about this now but it will save you a lot of time in the long run if you get this set up early so go check out my video i'm probably gonna do an updated one on that sometime soon as well and then moving on let's see what else we've got gear presets same thing with gear skill presets same thing again that just all goes into it and now this again is very important i do believe this is the last step on my quick start guide is the auto dismantle you want to go ahead and set up all this dismantle stuff so you can see they cover it over there so i'm not going to cover it extensively now i do have an older video on this as well I believe they have updated a little bit since my video so i have to go ahead and update that as well this will save you a lot of time once you do chaos dungeons and start getting a lot of loot and now that we've gone through all that starting gameplay content so this is where you really want to start doing stuff okay so they do actually mention the unus tasks like i said in my one of here now you can kind of come to this side of here after you've gone through the in-depth one on the lost dark nexus with these unus tasks they can actually get you gold over the long run Throughout the week, there's weekly unit tasks where you can claim tokens and get gold. I can show you that in game real quick. If you press Alt J, it brings up the unit tasks. Now there are the dailies you can do. You can get uh, nine rewards a day, so that means you can do three characters unit tasks dailies per day. As each character can do three, you can also use tickets to get some more. But just by default, you can do three per character, and that means you can get a reward nine times. So you can do three characters three times a day which will then give you the most uh, points you can get. But you can also do weeklies. Each character can do three a week, as you see down below. And the weeklies actually give you 12 points for completing one of them. So if you do three weeklies on one character, that will give you uh, 12, will give you 36 points. So it'll almost get you to the middle of there. It'll get you right over there onto the second break point. And then you take these Unus tokens and you exchange them at the gold vendor shop over there. This is what they look like, a gold shop. And you can actually exchange those for little gold boxes. I would suggest buying the one at the bottom as that has a bigger chance of giving you some more gold. So that's what you want to do to get your gold rolling in the beginning until you can get yourself into raids and start selling other stuff. And then if we move on there, we have Chaos Dungeons. You want to do these twice a day if your body is ready. Uh, you can also let these go to rest. So if you don't do them one day, you'll get like a rest bonus. So if you don't do them for two days in a row, the third day when you do the Chaos Dungeon, you'll get like, I think it's two thirds of the loot extra or something like that you pretty much get extra loot if you don't do them now that does build up and does cap out after five days i believe it's fully capped out so after five days if you're not doing chaos dungeons you're pretty much wasting the rest of the xp or you can do it every single day you do get more rewards if you do it daily without the rest bonus in the long run 
but if you just miss one like one or two days don't worry about it because the rest bonus is there to help you you know recoup some of those materials that you may have missed out on i would say don't burn out by doing chaos dungeons every single day in the beginning when you're first starting out sure because it's actually still pretty fun but after doing this for like a year and a half on every single character i had every single day i only run rested chaos dungeon now i do not run unrested chaos dungeon unless it's like a very new character then i'll run unrested just to get more honor shards and then push that character up faster but as we go on there they pretty much cover everything i was talking about before una stars you can go to the max roll guide i haven't actually gone to that but i'm sure it's great they have a lot of good information there so go ahead and check that out i do suggest some in mine at the beginning of yes so you can set these three up those are three that i suggest for pushing your characters because i'll give you honor shards so go through have a read through there and then there's legion raids chaos line tower some more stuff over there there is some more um guides over there to go follow recommended settings this will show you all the different settings just to help you out a little bit with some combat settings of like only displaying your pet buff and only you're showing your pet and stuff like that and then the card auto save setting every time you get new card new cards it will automatically claim them if you have them already so that you don't have to go ahead and claim the cards i wouldn't suggest doing this until you have uh deep dive cards all opened up as well as your star destiny because you have a very limited amount of card slots in the beginning and you can only buy more with blue crystals and blue crystals you can only buy with gold so this is probably just about a half an hour video it's a very lengthy video hopefully it helps a lot of you new players coming to the game it's exciting to see a lot of new players come into the game and actually start enjoying lost dark if you guys have any questions please feel free to drop by my streams over at twitch.tv slash i'm live pretty much every single day from about 3 p.m est onwards right after this video i will go live be a little bit late today because getting this video out for you guys but i will be live so come by ask any questions i may have missed or anything you have that you not don't understand i would love to answer it and help you guys out as well as join my discord we have a growing community in there of some friendly gamers and lost arcas all alike so thank you guys so much for watching the video hope that helped you out if it did please drop a like and a sub because that helps me out and i will see you beautiful people in the next one foggy say now run free and dive into the sky here the